Of all the oceans, this one is the most popular place to chip in. Several thousands of people are now employed in the area, working on a massive construction project. This location is the future home of the tallest sea bridge ever built. The total length of the bridge is 24 km. The combined height of the bridge's two cable towers is 270 meters, or around 90 stories. Let's pretend we're driving a car over this curved bridge. It seems like a life-changing experience. Furthermore, after the bridge is finished, it will include eight lanes in each direction. It will be six lanes total, which is two more than the existing Jamacow Bridge in Hong Kong. Achieving a one-hour living circle has considerably reduced urban transportation congestion in several coastal communities. This is a fantastic plan that will benefit the 80 million people in the area. But the bridge's high price tag has also drawn criticism. Known simply as Bridge, it spans a river in southern China. In 2020, 4 AD, China will have finished its biggest ever super project. The cost to build the bridge is around $5.08 billion. The construction of the facility was funded by federal grants and loans. It functions by imposing steep penalties for early debt repayment. The Chinese government plans to open the bridge to the public in 2020. To promote economic growth in all seven coastal cities, the plan calls for strengthening linkages between them. The bridge opened to traffic in 1992. A six-lane bidirectional highway B runs along the bridge deck. The bridge is the most lucrative road in the country bringing in as much as $200 million annually from high-speed toll. Nonetheless, the bridge is scheduled for decommissioning in 2019. Historically, this coastal city's lack of a bridge over the water meant that its automobiles had to go to nearby urban centers for transportation. The daily traffic volume of the bridge via the DOT IN2018 surpassed 200,000 automobiles, which is an awful number. The bridge often becomes congested with holiday traffic. As a comparison, think of the busiest highway in the United States, and you have the current traffic situation. The driver is exhausted since it travels less than a kilometer in five hours. Yet you should know that China will ultimately pay back the debt with high-speed tolls after it constructs a sea bridge. According to online reports, after the expressway segment is finished, a high-speed toll of 15 U.S. dollars every pass will be paid, with a round trip to I costing a total of 30 U.S. dollars per day. Monthly toll payments totaling $1,000 will be made. I believe this to be the most costly toll anywhere in the world. The vast majority of people would find it intolerable. People in the United States and Europe, for instance, may use the vast majority of the continent's highway system without paying any tolls. That this is occurring in China is... Well, obvious. This is how they make money. Yet people tend to complain about the tolls. In reference to this issue, without providing a direct answer, the administration merely said that after the bridge is built, regular people's travel expenses would be reduced at no cost to the government. Well, time to check out the bridge construction process. Many Western engineers consider this bridge to be difficult to build due to the area's unique maritime environment which is why work on the project started two decades ago. Nonetheless, even with the most modern bridge building equipment, significant challenges remain. Every day, about 5,000 ships ply these waters, many of them massive cargo ships weighing 300,000 tons or more. As typhoons are so common in coastal locations, bridges need to be able to resist winds of up to Category 17 strength, which requires engineers to raise the height of the bridge deck to 270 meters. Can you imagine how strong a typhoon of level 17 would be? Level 17 typhoons move at a pace of around 220 kilometers per hour or 16 meters per second. It can rip apart trees and knock down rundown structures with its might. As with each typhoon, the tides will surge when one of the highest magnitude hits shore. Seven or eight meter waves are possible, and their destructive potential is comparable to that of an earthquake or volcanic eruption of comparable size. Because of this, the bridge has to be able to resist a typhoon of Category 17. All of the components and building methods are unique and cutting. Edge creations. The third is how to extend the bridge's useful life to 100 years. We still don't know whether the bridge will last for 100 years. Two man-made islands are present. The length of the eastern island is 625 meters, while its width is 100 meters. 
The length of the West Island is 625 meters, while its width is 175 meters. While its width is 175 meters. Construction of an island facility, a tunnel, a management station, a rescue station, a communication station, a traffic, police, and fire duty point, etc. Mostly, the island's structures consist of the main building, wind tower, helipad, and other similar features. The region is a nautical waterway, thus a rescue pier capable of docking rescue vessels weighing up to 200 tons was constructed on one side of the artificial island. In 2016, work began on the bridge's construction. Once finished, many routes between cities will cut travel time in half, from 3 hours to only 30 minutes. Both European and Western office employees may complete a full life cycle in one hour. For the local community, this is a really remarkable development. For those familiar with Shenzhen, the desire to cross the bridge should come as no surprise. 50 years ago, she, he was a sleepy fishing hamlet, but by 2022, it had risen to the status of first-tier city and had become one of China's major financial hubs. It's predicted that the GDP will hit $485 billion, but that rise in housing costs will dampen the celebration. Housing costs may be anything from $10,000 to $70,000 per square foot. Competition for New York City in the United States. Individuals often earn between 510,000 USD and I every month on average. Non-local children in several Chinese cities need degree housing in order to attend public school. High home loans are a necessary evil if you want your kids to benefit from a first-rate education. Many regular folks are under a tremendous deal of stress because of sky-high housing costs. When the bridge is completed, residents of Shenzhen and other nearby cities will be able to commute to work in as little as 30 minutes and choose to live in any of the adjacent cities within an hour. Han is a major industrial hub in one of the coastal cities with a permanent population of almost 4.8 million. However, the geographical advantage has not been fully exploited due to a lack of trains airports, and deep water ports, and an uncomfortable link with the East Coast. The city's economy is growing slowly, and housing costs are just a sixth of what they are in Shenzhen. After the bridge is finished connecting the two cities, travel time to Shenzhen Airport from other minor cities will be reduced to 30 minutes. It takes less than an hour to go to four nearby airports and ports and ports, as Xi is a key connector for Hong Kong. Shenzhen's sway in that city will have a direct impact on the economic growth of other cities in the region. The bridge, which connects the east and west coasts, has the potential to spur economic growth and improve travel between the two regions. So, what do you think about fees for using a highway? Please leave a like, uh, comment, and a subscribe if you like this video. And gratitude to you.